Hello, it's me, Terry Lynn. You know, something I've learned is you tell somebody what Jesus said, you show them the scriptures, the Holy Spirit convicts people. For instance, when I read or was shown that Jesus said to the man, if you want to go to heaven, if you want eternal life, obey the commandments, don't commit adultery. And what adultery is? Whoever marries a divorced woman or if a woman divorces her husband and marries another, that's adultery. That was enough for me. I said, my attitude was, get me the priests, get me Rome, get me a lawyer. I'm coming out of this adultery. Yeah. You tell us all what adultery is and that they can't go to heaven. Almost all of them will come out of the adultery. And if you pray, you say, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, I don't want to commit adultery. Convert my spouse, get the demons out of them, and this and that. And stop trying to figure it all out on your own. It's going to deliver you from all the wounds and this and that. Reveal to God in Jesus. You know, you didn't have a proper priest or pastor or nobody told you this. I'm telling you, God will bless you. This should have been addressed a long time ago, and I know we have a lot of broken hearts because we should have grabbed this situation centuries ago, and we should have fixed it back then. And it's sad that we're here, but think of us as a peculiar generation with an assignment to stop divorce and adultery. You know, people that were married 21 years, 23 years, and then they get divorced, don't tell me they can't work it out. They're married that many years. They just need a big blessing from heaven. And other people could bless them, maybe. But they could work out. They made it 21 years. You know they can make it their full life. Okay? Are you an alcoholic and your marriage is at risk? Are you drinking and tormenting your spouse? Repent. Ask God and Jesus to save you right now. Take that out of you. All those demons. Are you into pornos and things like that? And even with a couple, stop that. You're not going to look at other naked bodies unless you're meant to be married to that person. If you sleep with a lot of people but want to give your life to the Lord and get married and do right, ask God to make you do that right now. And I'm telling you, you start telling people they can't go to heaven with adultery. You're going to see people stop committing adultery. You're going to see people leaving adultery and praying for the wife and husband of their youth. Curses can even come on you for divorce. Curses from God for getting divorced and remarried to someone else. It's a serious thing. God's a serious God. And He loves you so much, He doesn't want you to get divorced. He doesn't want you to be hurt. And a lot of us are hurt and we weren't taught the Bible right. But I'm here today for you because I love you. And I learned the hard way. Nobody taught me really. I had to teach myself by reading the Bible and by praying and Jesus appearing to me. And I'm here today because I do love you. And I want justice for all of us. And those that even died before us, it's just that. Thank you and God bless you.